Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are opening up this King Gambit illustration collection and the Greninja EX collection. Well, special illustration collection. Which there's also a Kingdra EX special illustration collection as well, but I'll open that on a later time. But I like how each one of them, even the Kingdra, they picked the Pokemon that had three of, well, yeah, two stages of evolution. So I'll get into these and we'll see up these up close. Okay, I got those out and the King Gambit one came with four. And it looks like one of each pack art. I'm not sure if there's five, but I know there's four different ones here. The Greninja came with five and then it came with three of the Ogie Dogie. And then I can't remember these two. But that one came with five. Each came with three cards. The King Gamut came with that Ponyard. And I don't know if you can kind of see the hollow pattern of it. It's all the way around and the background. And then it evolves into Bisharp. Then to King Gambit. So this is the illustration level, which this one has no texture being the illustration. And there's a code card which I like these and then I was looking all the pre-evolution cards are actually from Obsidian Flames which the Froggy and Frogadier or Froki and Frogadier Frogadier however you pronounce it are all from Obsidian Flames except for the illustration and the special illustration they are a promo the SVP And then for the Greninja, you got the Froki with that, and you can really see the hollow pattern in that one a little bit better. And if you look at just a fast look, it almost like looks like print lines, but it's the raindrops. And then you got the Frogadier. I think that's how you pronounce it. Like this hollow pattern works a lot better with the water type. And then you have the special illustration Greninja. And there's the code card for it. And I'd like to thank Angel's Awesome Adventures. They end up sending me the Suicune necklace so I can complete the three necklaces from, well, pendants or necklaces from Card Party. So that was pretty cool of them. So my daughter pulled that one, I pulled that one, and then they sent me that one. Okay, let's get into this and see what we can pull. We'll start with the King Gambit ones. Okay, we'll go slowly through them. Got Hound Hour, Ink A, Rowlet, Horsey, Genesect. That's actually a decent uncommon. Ooh, Sylveon. See, I wasn't sure if the any of the evolutions would have been in this one or not. Power Glass, and then the Janet's Secret Art, which I've also seen the different reverse hollows and I like these better than the ones that have been in the Scarlet and Violet era so far. Then the Slitherwing, got more ancient cards. And then the Copperaja. Oh, and then we did get our special fire energy. It has that same reverse pattern on it. Dustclops, Beware, Sneasel, Zorora, Binding Mochi, Malamar, Weevil, Meowth, Zorora Reverse, and a Zororok. Oh, and second fire, just that's the standard fire. Let's see if we can't get our first hit. Dusclops, Meowth, Zorura, Houndour, another Sylveon, Yedveltal, Powerglass, Dusknor Reverse. Okay, that's actually a pretty decent looking reverse. And then Psychic. 
Axu and Blood Moon Ursaluna. We did get another reverse hollow energy. Houndoom, Rowlet, Fracture, Persian, Hypno, not sure, Malamar, Tiefen, Decidueye Reverse, and a Tapu Bulu. So we didn't get an official hit, all we got was the reverse hollow energies out of the King Gambit. And now let's get out of the Greninja box. Hopefully we can get at least a couple hits out of this. And Joltik, Thedra, Varun, Houndoom. Yeah, that, that one again, Malamar, Sylveon. You got the Persian Reverse, the Dartrix Reverse, and the Tapu Bulu. Okay, I think this one is actually Pheasantipity, if I'm not wrong. The other one, other two, I'm not sure of. Krogunk, Stuffle, Zubad, Duskull, Decidueye, Janine's Secret Art, Caparaja Reverse, Inke Reverse and a Dusknor Hollow. So still nothing. Houndour, Inke, Relic, Horsey, Slitherwing, Cassiopeia, Hypno, Powerglass Reverse, Toxicroat Reverse, and a Tapu Bulu again. Gold Bat, Persian, Dusclops, Relic, Sure, Hypno, Night Stretch Reverse, Haxorus Reverse, and Pezendipity, so it was right with a Fighting Energy. Reverse Hollow. Hey, we didn't go hitless, but it is just a regular EX. Not even a textured EX. So that's. I like that we got it, but man, these are definitely rough. Horsey, Dusclops, Beware, Sneasel, Crobat, Academy at Night, Genesect, Reverse Dusclops, Joltik, and we're ending it on a Zororor. Zororork Hollow. Well, out of nine packs, we got three Reverse Hollows energies, and then one Pheasantipity EX. So these, my pull rates today were terrible in my mind. We got one out of nine packs, because I don't consider these being hits. So one for nine, it's definitely a lower target in the Scarlet and Violet era. I've seen it where some people have averaged one out of every two packs and then two out of the five packs. But I'm, so now it is definitely a range from you can either hit good or you're going to suffer and almost hit nothing. So if I would only open the King Gambit one, I would have had... I would have ended up with these two reverse hollow energies. But hopefully my next round with the Kingdra collection box and the three pack blister is a little bit better than this. At least gave me two hits, but at least we got the illustration rare and a special illustration that came with the boxes. But hopefully my luck turns around a little bit. Because my last one with the Charizard box, I got absolutely nothing, so. Out of my last 14 packs, I've gotten one hit. So hopefully my luck changes here soon. Well guys, that'll be all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.